Recently, I posted a decluttering tip on Facebook without commentary and social media went wild. The quote was this, just because you use an item doesn't mean you need to keep it. Some people told me I was absolutely crazy with comments like this, are you dim? That's illogical. This is probably the worst decluttering tip ever. Fortunately, others found the idea liberating. This is fantastic. This actually is so true and I need to do this exact thing. Personally, I find the tip so helpful, so freeing, especially when someone is actively working to own less, that I wanted to repeat it again here and explain a bit more what I mean by it. Just because you use an item doesn't mean you need to keep it. it. Seems to me that a lot of people take the quote to mean that I'm telling folks to get rid of every item they use. This is terrible advice, someone even said. If I got rid of my comb, I'd have to brush my hair with my fingers. Why would I ever get rid of something that I use? But I'm not encouraging us to get rid of everything we use just because we use it. Just because you use an item doesn't mean you need to keep it is different advice than get rid of every item you use. So I just wanted to clear that up. So how can this truth be so helpful in decluttering? Because in reality, our homes are filled with a whole bunch of things we think we need just because we occasionally use them. I can't declutter this item because I use it is a thinking trap that we fall into that can keep us stuck and keep us from making progress, freeing up space, time, and money. As an example, when we first started minimizing our possessions, we had six spatulas in our kitchen, and from time to time, we used each of them. But that didn't mean we needed all six. I only used them because they were there. Just because you use an item doesn't mean you need to keep it. Our kitchen functions way better, and I love cooking more now that we only own two. And honestly, I've never needed more than that. Likewise, before minimalism, I probably owned 20 pairs of pants. And from time to time, I would say that I wore all of them, but I didn't need to own all of them. And I learned that through a Project 333 experiment. There's a link in the description below, by the way, it's brilliant. Today, I find getting ready in the morning easier and more enjoyable now that I only own five pairs. And don't get me started on all the kitchen gadgets that I used, but we're only taking up more space in my home than the benefit I was receiving from them. My George Foreman grill comes to mind. I once helped a lady declutter her kitchen. She knew there was too much stuff, but was struggling to figure out what she could get rid of. I stumbled upon a red Santa Claus platter in an already overstuffed cabinet. Hoping I had discovered an item that could easily get donated, I asked, well, what about this platter? Do you use this? Oh yes, she replied, I put cookies on it every Christmas Eve. Sensing hesitation to remove it, I asked a follow-up question. Well, what would you use if you didn't have it? And within seconds, she was able to answer, Oh, I'd probably just use one of those red platters from the other drawer and put the cookies on that. The answer was a light bulb moment for her and for me. Just because you use an item doesn't mean you need to keep it, especially if you have something else in your home that already accomplishes the same purpose. Minimalist principles will always look different from one family to another. And if you're a minimalist living in a tiny home with only 100 possessions, this tip probably isn't gonna be particularly helpful for you. But for those of you watching this video who are working hard to own less, but are struggling to make progress, remind yourself that just because you use something doesn't mean you need to keep it. There are life-giving benefits to owning less, and there is freedom to be found in realizing you don't need to keep everything you use. In my opinion, what would I use if I didn't own this item is a much more helpful question to ask than do I use it? Hey everybody, Joshua here. I wanna let you know that my new book, Things That Matter, Overcoming Distraction to Pursue a More Meaningful Life is now available everywhere books are sold. 
Things That Matter is a book about living well. It's a book about overcoming the distraction of a world focused on all the wrong things so we can reach the end of our lives with minimal regrets. And I know it'll challenge you to live a more meaningful life. So pick up a copy today.